Hello everyone, welcome to D4 Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about how to add team suggestion in different way. So consider this is a, a note page. So when you inspect, you can see that uh, this node is coming from node.html.3 file. Node.html. So you can see here the complete node structure is coming from this file. So core themes olivero template content inside the uh, the node.html file. This file is loading here. Okay. So I have a custom theme here, and uh, this is using base theme as olivero. So I don't have any override for node.html. So it is taking that uh, node.html quick file from the Olivero theme. By default, it is providing some set of suggestions you can see here, okay? So when you have a scenario that you have to create your own custom theme suggestion. So which means consider uh, you have a lot of roles in your system, okay? So when you want to load node node structure in different way for, for the particular role or for anonymous it should be in the different way for authenticated user it should be in the different way in that case you can create your own node structure by just creating your own suggestions in your uh, hook so we have three types of hooks here so first one uh, this will not allow you to uh, this is first one is hook theme suggestions hook so uh, first hook represents your theme name. Second hook represents your theme, uh, sorry, template uh, file. So if here it is a node.html.fix, so here you have to use node if you are using this hook. So this will not allow you to modify the suggestions. So what does it mean is that you can see uh, for this node html.pick file, you are able to see some suggestions here, right? So when you use this, you will not be able to remove any suggestion which is available here uh, in the list. So this will not allow, but it will help you to add some magician, uh, suggestions. It will help you to add some suggestions. Okay. So you just need to return, uh, return, return argument will be uh, suggestion array, okay. Suggestions. So this will be array format, okay. So you will be returning suggestions. And this one, the next way is that these two are same. It's hook theme suggestion alter. So consider when you have a, um, a lot of uh, work on your suggestions like in your custom theme you are going to work on multiple theme suggestion for multiple templates so in that case you can use it so hook will be argument in this uh, function so you can create a switch or if else condition and you can check whether the hook is uh, node or hook is node you can create your own suggestions here then you can create a suggestions okay so here also suggestion will be array okay so by default the written argument is suggestions okay so when you have less number of uh, requirement to alter the hook suggestions so consider you have only uh, need to uh, alter only for the node in that case you can use it so it will not contain hook as an argument as like here because we are using the hook here itself. So you just need to uh, add your suggestions. Okay, based upon your requirement. These are the three ways you can use it. Now I'm going to use this way. So uh, in my custom theme, so this is my custom theme and I'm going, this theme is using Oliver as a base theme. In the root folder, you have to create a custom underscore theme. This is a theme name dot theme file and here you have to open a php tag and then inside implements the hook name and then function open it's a custom theme first hook is a theme name underscore theme 
suggestions underscore for us the suggestion here is node it's a node.html.twig means you have to take the template name so it is node i'm going to alter the suggestion for node and then alter okay so you need to copy paste the argument so first will be suggestions and second will be variables and then uh, so variable argument will contain all the variables which is available for this particular uh, node template okay so here what i'm going to do i'm just going to put first exit i want to check whether the function is getting call or not okay now we created a hook so whenever you are creating a hook you have to go to your website and clear the catchy now clear your catchy <laughs> So you can see exit is working, which means our hook is getting called. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to just add a condition that um, if a current user, Google colon colon, current user is anonymous. Okay, is anonymous. If the current user is anonymous, I'm going to add new suggestions. That is, uh, like a uh, node underscore underscore on a knee yes okay so i added new suggestion which is node underscore underscore anonymous before that let me print suggestions so it will uh, print all the existing suggestions and then exit now go and refresh. You will be able to see all these are the suggestions which we are having now. Okay. So let me remove it and load now. And when you inspect, our suggestion should be present in that. Here it will not be because this is not anonymous user. So you can see it will not be available for this user. Let me copy and paste it for the anonymous Okay, uh, actually this is a block and here we are getting access in it. So he doesn't have access to view the content. Uh, let me check whether it is published or not. It is not published. Let me publish it. And then let me remove this block also. So we have only... Um, node content here now go there and refresh so now you can see he is able to see the uh, content and here it is right so when you see here here uh, for node.html.twig node.html.twig template you can see the anonymous suggestion is not coming here but when you see here, you can see the new hook suggestion which we created, it is coming. So, uh, because uh, we have added a new suggestion here, that's why it is loading only for the anonymous. Now, to how to create a new file under your templates. So, it should be no, not on the root. It should be on the template folder. It's a node, iPhone, iPhone, anonymous dot html dot twig so whenever you are creating your uh, underscore should be replaced with a hyphen hyphen okay now this is done so i'm just going to copy paste all the content to what we have for node.html from the oliver theme ramp ww and this is my folder in the web for themes it's olivero templates under content you have a file of node.html.twig we just copy paste fully in this file and at the top i am going to add just one heading that this is a anonymous page okay h1 this is a anonymous user okay so now I created only one line in this file. 
Now again, I'm going and I'm clearing the cache. So you can see for admin, nothing is changed. Now go and refresh as anonymous. So you can see for anonymous, this is the anonymous user line is added. Okay. So these are the ways you can uh, use to alter the hook suggestions. I just shown you only this. You can use these two also. And, and that's it about today's video. If you like the video, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.